So for vintage bicycles that did not have shifting that you did by hand, whether it was a stick shift or a twist grip or a thumb shifter, you generally would have a coaster brake on the bike, but it still might have a gear in it. So let's look at some, look at some common rear hubs. Here's a Bendix hub. It says Bendix Automatic. This is an automatic two-speed hub. It does not have its hub shell on it, but you can see what's inside it. It's pretty complicated stuff, and these got gummed up a lot. Um, and some of them were successful, some of them were not. But they're still good to collect, and they're interesting to take apart and rebuild. This is the kind of bike you'd be uh, pedaling along in first gear, and then you stop, you kick back a little, and it'll switch gears automatically, and then you pedal and you're in a higher gear. You kick back on it again, and it drops back to first gear. Here's another Bendix hub. This is probably from the 30s because it still has an oil port and it's got these nice looking fins. This hub would clean up very nicely and, and look good in a collection. It also has the skip tooth sprocket. If you look at the teeth on these two different sprockets, you can see the difference. And certainly, this is the older sprocket. There's a high fland flange Bendix hub. I'm not even sure what bike this came from. This, this one we got not too long ago, and I haven't had a chance to really look into it, but that's a very high flange, and I'm curious to know what kind of bike this came on. And here's the hub shell of a standard three-speed. Again, these hubs, made by Sturmy Archer, they have a two-digit date code, which will help you identify the age of your bike. 